Hey, good afternoon. This is Mike uh, looking over your uh, your post on your discussion post on uh, Newton's third law. And I got a question for you here, based on kind of what you said in your your your, uh, your paragraphs. Oh, pardon me. Um, what would happen? Like you you talk here about the force applied to the pin, the force applied to the ball. Those are both equal and opposite. But then the pin falls over. If the, the now the reason the pin falls over, as you said, is is because there's enough momentum transferred to the pin, which causes the pin to accelerate or move to the to the left there, and then and then fall over. What if the pin didn't move? Would that change the the, the action reaction pair because the pin didn't move? The ball's not changed anything because it's still coming out at the same velocity, it's still going to hit the pin the same way. The only thing that changes is the pin moves. So you want, one of the things we can, we can be fooled by is that we, we tend to think there is some f extra force here in the whole system that would cause the pin to move. It's still, it's still moving because of the same reason. In the situation I just described, when it's, let's say, glued in place, that glue supplies enough support that doesn't allow the pin to fall over. That's all there is to it. But so the action reaction force there is, is exactly the same. You probably knew that and didn't need this little, little discussion, but I wanted something different to do. So anyway, good work. Good drawings.